Now we'll get into some ways that you can actually generate better content without having to, or uh, sorry, better formatting without having to actually go about doing all of that. So, uh, so the last you know, little things here, we have iframe button. Uh, you kind of recommend it against using iframes, but it's here so that you can uh, embed things from YouTube and Vimeo successfully uh, because they both have iframes. Uh, there's a, a spell checker here, so we can do inline spell checking. Let me see, it'll do that. I can put that, change it to top. Uh, so these two, this is, and I'll just showcase the live media thing as to what the you know some of the future stuff is. This will actually tie us into our own asset management system, which is Drupal based, uh, so that we can, you know upload video to it, upload images, different pieces of media, uh, view it here, and then I have an embed code that I can copy in. So this is a very rough implementation or integration of that. Um, but the idea would be that I can then copy that in and it will interpret that accordingly. Uh, this is an idea that's present in Drupal 7. Uh, these systems are Drupal 6 based. Uh, so it's not a huge stretch once things start to go uh, the 7 route if you're a developer. Um, because uh, there's a project called Media which starts to treat all media in this way. So, uh, for example, I can find a video, like one of these videos I shot recently for the Yoast Botany project, which is a developer thing, and we'll paste that in, we'll see what happens. Um, this is just to showcase that that actually does do that. So then it loads up my video, I have it here, and I have the reference elsewhere. Um, so that's coming down the road. What comes with the editor now, and what we're starting to build out, and so these are just some example ones, is that you have these different content templates. And so you can create these little reusable components like a, a collapsed field set, for example. And so I'm gonna give it a title, and then all the content that's in there. So you can do things like that. This wrote a lot of HTML, and I don't need to know how it did it or what it is. <laughs> That's the beauty of it. Uh, so let's delete that and try some more advanced ones. Uh, so what we've done is created these little components and then we actually take the smaller components and build them into pages. So in this case is a landing page. So here's an example landing page. And so you can see you know, we even have a nice little Ipsum generator. Uh, here's you know, potentially what a reading is like. And then we have steps to completion. Again, with a different table style than our previous table that you saw created. And this one also has things set in place for best practices for accessibility. Obviously, you have to go and fill that out with reasonable information, but you can really rapid prototype and have a conversation around what the material might look like in this way. And so that's one example template. We have a couple others in here. Um, which I still need to provide images for, so the images will be broken because I have to manually make those. Uh, we have a right and a left justified image, um, which is coming from ELI Media in that case. Uh, and here's some sample layouts. We'll do sample layout one. You can see there's a custom style block quote thing which fits with our style guide, so it doesn't just use the block quote um, built-in thing. Uh, here's you know some text, assignment directions, and then text again. And then as another example layout, we have some collapsible field sets after some text and then reading. So let's see what these look like just straight down the page. This is basically three example layouts all on the same page. Again, it's just generating HTML. Uh, so you can edit it and you can actually, if you're a developer, you can add templates very easily. Um, but you'll see here's you know kind of one of the example ones with a left and right page uh, element with an image. Um, here's our block quote, so you can have a much nicer looking block quote and item. Um, here's our assignment directions, offset visually, so someone can see that this is an assignment, but it's still done in an accessible way, so it's easy for screen readers to find and also take meaning from it because these are headings. Um, you can see all of these are spaced very evenly. It's very crisp. Um, the collapsible field sets, you can open these up. So you can either have class by default or open by default, and then there's my reading. So these are some standard design standards that we're still working on uh, with our instructional design team, but these are just some examples of the direction this is heading. Elms will ship with a lot of uh, different templates so that you can get going and have a conversation faster.